So over here, you can see that I have a table right here. And if you want to change around its formatting, then you can go around onto the style and you can hover around to see um, uh, like different styles applied to them. Or you can click on the table itself. And once you click on the table, you can see that you can select out individual cells right here and then add in, let's say, for example, uh, uh, different background colors right here, just like this. You can go around over here and shift select multiple cells just like this and select out a color over here, just like this as well. And that is how you can apply it. You can go around over here and shift select all of these right here just like this and maybe add in a gradient over here as well. So over here you can see you can change around the gradient style and then choose around the color that you want, press apply and this is what you have as you can see. You can change around the type of the line that you apply onto the table cells as well, just like this. You can go around and select out all by holding shift and you can also make it into a straight line. You can increase out, let's say, for example, the point size of the lines right here, just like this and make adjustments to opacities and everything else right here. You can also turn, uh, let's say, for example, add in a sketch right here, add in shadows over here, shadow effects. And you can go around over here, copy out, let's say, style, and you can go around and paste out the style over here as well. And you can also turn it into a default style, and that lets you apply the style in, um, that makes it the default for any shape that is created. But overall, you can see that you can make adjustment to the table style just like this by clicking on individual cells right here or by selecting multiple cells and by applying the effects that you see right here. You can go around over here on to the text option as well, apply bold, italics and other text um, uh, formatting options just like this as well. You can also go around, add in let's say watercolor and background color and so forth right here, just like you would uh, apply in regular text options. So that is how you can work around with um, uh, table formatting options inside of diagrams.net. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.